Here's what I can tell you. When news was announced that Shannon Sharp had been bought out of FS1 and he would be leaving at the conclusion of the NBA Finals, there were two things that came to my mind. That's a big loss for the show Undisputed because Shannon matters and that I don't know what his plans are. I don't know what he's trying to pursue. I don't know what he's after. But if Shannon Sharp needs me, I'm happy to be here for him. This is a recruiting tactic. One thing is for sure, and one of the best ways to recruit somebody is to say, listen, if anything ever happens, you know I got your back. You know I'm going to be there for you, right? I don't believe even for one second. And again, let's put aside uh, the whole brother thing, right? The whole black thing. I don't believe even for one second um, that they're that cool. I think that, and again, this is just me and my opinion based off of optics and what I see. Uh, I think that they probably have a relationship, but when it comes to being brothers and all that other type of stuff, I think that this is just a recruiting tactic. And Stephen A also mentioned that he would be going on Club Shay Shay. But again, Club Shay Shay has had a lot of people on the platform and it doesn't even seem like it's sports focused. It's focused on whoever it is that's popular at the time in order for him to continue to create a platform that is entertaining. And then obviously Shannon Sharp is probably going to come on Stephen A's platform. But let's continue. And if that included him wanting to come on first take, the bosses at ESPN know that is something I would support. Now, here's the thing. Of course, you would support it. Just like I said, it's a recruiting tactic, right? But here's the thing. And I was saying this on the Millionaire Morning Show this morning. So if you want to go and check out that, that show, I'll put a link down in the description for y'all to be able to check it out. But here's the thing. In what capacity? I would never personally want to see Shannon Sharp over there on first take. As a matter of fact... Skip and Shannon on Undisputed was exponentially better than anything that they were producing over there on ESPN outside of actually showing an NBA basketball game during a live broadcast. Shannon is, and he can, stand on his own. And ESPN would have to back up the Brinks truck. Now, it's much different than Pat and the boys over there because Pat and the boys already have a finished product. But again, it seems like Shannon... It'll be interesting to see, right? Because based off of my optics and and my opinion, Shannon Sharp is very much his own entity in that obviously he's very good at being able to carry a show on his own as he does on Club Shay Shay. But I think that Skip and Shannon played off of each other very well. Skip and Shannon played off of each other very, very, very well. So his ability to be entertaining is also based off of the fact that you know, Skip was pushing back on a whole LeBron James narrative and then Shannon would obviously wear the gold and all of that. And it'll be interesting to see if Shannon Sharp would need to be in a position where he had a co-host that that also played off of him really well because people really under, underestimate chemistry. Very few people can actually carry a show by themselves or can do it with subpar talent that they have over at ESPN. And I, I really just don't even like ESPN in general because it's a Disney company, but let's continue with what, what Stephen A. Smith is saying. Not every day. But one of those days every week, yeah. And why do I say not every day? Because you need to understand something. I apologize for this to no one. I love me some Michael Irvin. That's my brother, <laughs> the playmaker. And I understand he got himself embroiled in some situation and I have no clue what that was going to happen with that. That is above my pay grade. Whatever they discover, they discover. Remember, I get to hand pick who's on first take once they're in house for ESPN. I don't get to bring them from the outside in without the boss is OK. We have to be honest. I'm not the boss. 
And you can't do anything but appreciate Stephen A's transparency, which, in my opinion, is also a recruiting tactic, right? That's Dave Roberts. That's Jimmy Pitaro. That's Burke Magnus. That's those dudes. I answer to them. It's not the other way around when it comes to all matters pertaining to ESPN. But they know where I stand. I love me some Michael Irvin. I always want my brother with me. Um, He ain't the only one. Keyshawn Johnson, that's my brother. We go back over 20 years, and I think he's excellent on TV discussing football. Ryan Clark, the pivot, Ryan Clark. (laughs) The NFL analyst extraordinaire, Ryan Clark. Marcus (laughs) Spears, a.k.a. Swagoo, my brothers. My brothers. And they ain't the only ones. Dominique Foxworth, Damian Woody, you know, Bart Scott and all these. But I got an A-list roster. I ain't even bring up Dan Olavsky, who is great. I didn't even bring up Mina Combs. I didn't even bring up Jeff Saturday, who I hope returned. I miss Jeff Saturday on first day. None of these guys is even in the same stratosphere as Shannon Sharp, respectfully. Like, I like a lot of those guys. But none of them is even remotely on the same level as a Shannon Sharp. That's just being honest. I don't give a damn what happened with him in Indianapolis when he became a head coach. Took the job in the damn middle of the season. That's a different matter than being first take. Being on first take, hell no. But I'm just telling you right now, to be clear. If Shannon Sharp wanted to run... Wanted to join that roster? There's no resistance from Stephen A. Here's the problem, though. There's a couple different problems here. A, Shannon Sharp is, is very much, in my opinion, proving himself to be above that roster, respectfully. And then B, who going to back the Brinks truck up for Shannon Sharp, considering that he just had a buyout uh, for Club Shay Shay and for him to continue to leave, continue his departure, from undisputed after the NBA playoffs. I have no clue whatsoever, but um, the last thing in my personal and professional uh, opinion, especially as a fan, is that Shannon Sharp should ever be heading over to ESPN or being on first take. It makes no sense. And now that you really think about it, You'd have to say that Shannon Sharp, the only thing that he can do is just completely go out on his own. That's all he can do because there's only two really big juggernauts. juggernauts. You got Fox Sports and then you got ESPN. And outside of that, if you're not creating a platform for yourself like Pat and the boys did, then you really have no real visibility or no ability for another company to back you and then promote it. And then Shannon would have to invest in itself in order to big up his own platform, which I'd love to see that because I think that's sink or swim. That's when you're really competing with the big boys. All right. So let me know what your thoughts are. Stephen A is recruiting Shannon Sharp in order to come over there with him and the boys. But I think that ESPN would have to back up the Brinks truck and he'd have to give Shannon Sharp creative control. I don't think Shannon Sharp is looking to be one of the boys. I think he is uh, trying to be that guy. Let me know what y'all thoughts are. I'm curious about it. Uh, Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put the link into the, the live stream that I did earlier today on the Millionaire Morning Show. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.